Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We're going to a call now. Someone called in and said he can't get in his house because his uh, wife won't let him in. He says she's drinking and uh, he just wants to come home from work and go to bed. So I guess they're having some problems. So we're going to go make contact with him and then go to their residence. What's going on? My wife came in last night, drunk, out of her mind. What's your wife's name? Maureen, or Maureen. That's my first wife. That's a big mistake. <laughs> Janet, well, I'm tired. I just want to go home and sleep. I know, I know. Janet, been, it's been five o'clock. Yeah, I've been waiting since five. Janet, and she came in three times today. Okay. She's drinking, and I fear for my life. I, I'm just afraid. What do we need to do today? I want her out, so I, I, I don't want to have her arrested. I, I feel bad, but she kicked the door in, ruined the whole door, uh -huh. and everything else. Well, right. I can't make her leave. You guys are separated or divorced? No, we're not separated. I just, this just, just happened two days ago. Okay. And I want to go home, but I want you to go with me. Absolutely. Do you have a vehicle? No, sir. How are we going to get you there? Rick was going to take me home. We'll follow you. All right. We'll trust. see if we can calm her down for a while and I don't know. get some sleep. Well, that's where she cut me with a knife. That's a month ago. We'll go check it out. Thank we'll you. follow you there. Thank you so much. No problem. Appreciate it. All right. Well, apparently, this guy is frightened to go home because his wife gets pretty violent. I don't know what kind of mood she's in today, but sounds very upset. Let's see what this lady has to say. Here, let me just go in. Staying out of sight would be Can good. I get if, yeah, could you go over there and hide for me? Uh, it's the sheriff department. Hi there. Can I come in and talk to you? Yes, you can. All right. What's going on? My husband took everything we had out of the bank, my rent, my utilities, every payment that I made bounced. Well, his name's on the account, so it's... Yes, it was on the okay. account. So it, it was on the account, I right. admit that. That's a civil dispute, dispute between you guys. It's not illegal. That's true. OK. How much did you have to drink tonight? Well, I've had a few, but okay. I'm home. What happened like a month ago between you and him? How do you get the marks on his arms? Same way I got the mark on my nose, the bruises on my back. I'm just, I'm just asking you. How do you get the marks on his arms? I don't know this. I don't know wh how. I'm asking you. We have had many problems. He has been in jail for abuse. OK. What are we going to do tonight? How are we going to resolve this? I am So home. I don't need to be coming back out here. I'm home. I don't want him here. Oh, he told me he had a place to okay. go tonight. He just called. Listen, I got called here because he doesn't have a place to go tonight. You have a place to go. So let's resolve it now. Call your daughter. And you guys separate for the evening and work out things tomorrow. OK? Ma'am? OK. I'll do that, Barry. Grab your phone. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Well, I tell you what. I'll call the landlord, and you can pay the rent that you let the check bounce on, OK? It's my money, Jan. Sir, I'm going to tell you one more time. And that's going to be about can it. can you come over here and get me? I've got cops all around me. Um, and Barry's here, and they're going to let him stay. Can you come and get your mother right now? I'll get my clothes ready. Thank you. This is ridiculous. Well, it's a this is absolutely, totally ridiculous. We're resolving it for the evening, OK? Yes. You guys need to start going through what you need to do to take care of your situation, your relationship. Because it's not. The relationship's over because he's a con artist. 
Okay. He has conned everyone that I know. He's conned my family. He just called my sister and asked her to borrow money after he took everything we had out of our savings and, and uh, checkings, I mean. You are a bad Malo. Can I get some clothes? Go ahead and do that. I'm going to follow you around, okay? Okay. Sorry. Why do you, you have a thing about knives? Well, I put it there there's because a, I was worried. There's a knife and sword. Is that sword yours? Well, that's just... Is this your bed stand? Yes. That's okay. a crack knife, I'm sorry. No, it's no. not either. I had it there because I was worried, Barry, Officer, about you. I would like to know why she has to go. He beats my mother. Okay. He has beat her up several oh, times. Oh, oh, oh. He pushed her down with my three-year-old daughter in her arms. He has beat her several Here times. She has been out of work several times because of the way he has beat her. He stole all of her money, every penny she had. I have to pay her rent this month. He just called my aunt in Illinois asking her for money after he stole all of her money. Yeah, why did you do that? Okay, sis. No. It wasn't his money. You don't even work, Barry. That's not true. I you don't... do not give her any money. I don't you work. You don't give her any money. No. Everything is her money. You're it's hers. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're You're pregnant. Come on. I'm not a liar, Barry. I went out for two years and gave your mother my checks pregnant. for two years. You would not give her a penny. I've been good to your mother, and you know it. Thanks for leaving her without a home. All right. Thanks, Carrie, for helping me. I love Let's you. Let's go. <laughs> this is not right. I hope you know. You know why you're leaving tonight? Because he didn't have a place to go, and you do. That's it. You're not being punished. You're not in trouble. I just want you guys to get away from each hey, other. he's got a pocket full of money that he took out of our bank. There's he's a 20 and a bunch of ones. I, I counted it. There's no, there's no. That was enough for a hotel. All right, let's go. $1,800. Okay. You can Thank check you. the bank. I didn't find $1,800 on him. I would tell you if I did. Because he spent it. OK. All right, keep your mouth shut. We're going home. Take her to the courthouse Enjoy tomorrow. Enjoy it tonight. Mom, keep your mouth shut. Thank you. Welcome. Good night. Nothing good comes from alcohol. I always say that to people. Name one thing. But uh, I got a headache now, I can tell you that. Uh, right now we're responding to an accident up the road here. Two people got into a collision where there's actually the paramedics are on scene right now. Um, we had another caller call in and actually said they were out in the middle of the street arguing and uh, it looked like it was going to escalate to a fight. So we're just arriving over here. The paramedics are already out on the vehicles right now. Are you guys involved? You guys are witnesses? Somebody here have an ID on you? Uh, you, you want my ID? Yeah. yeah. You were a witness, right? Yeah. Let me get your ID from you real quick if you don't mind. We were in the okay. car. Okay. I see. Take one of your IDs so that way you don't leave till I give you back your ID. Okay? Right. It's just easier that way. Yeah, mom, she's got neck and back pain. It looks okay. like she's under the influence of something. She's okay. She's nice taking any medication, but the way she's acting. Okay. This is the daughter. Who else was in the car? Both of them? Just okay. Just what car were you in? No, it was me, her, and my friend. Okay. What car were you in? I was in my mom's car. Okay. Well, I, I don't know what what mom what your mom's car is. Oh, I almost fell. Okay. It's that. It's the red one. Okay. And what? we had the right away. Okay. Well, hold on one second. Don't start barking at me. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm well, just relax. Mad because I understand my mom's that. Well, okay. Well, like that. have a seat for me, real quick. Ma'am, this is a very important question. Are you on any type of narcotics right now or under the influence of any uh, alcohol? Oh, no. Okay, have you been sitting here the whole time? Yes. I'm going to tell you right now, though, you're going to get transported down to Sunrise Hospital uh -huh. where an officer's actually going to be present there. We need to know if you have any type of narcotics in your system. I don't have any. Okay, do you use any type of drugs? Oh, my God. Yes. Has she been sitting here the whole time that you guys have been here? Actually, uh, yeah. Who is driving that vehicle, your mom or you? My mom. Okay. What kind of narcotics does your mom use? My mom doesn't. You can give her a drug What about test. you? Do you know what this is? No. Stand up, young lady. We're going to have a whole bunch of hard times can here in about two seconds. Can you please be careful with my wrist, okay. please? Hold on one second here, okay? Until we find out what exactly is going on with everybody here, you guys are all going to go in handcuffs because you know what? Now there's prescription pills that are sitting down on the ground right where you guys have just been sitting that haven't been there about two seconds ago. So if we want to keep destroying some evidence, we'll just start taking everybody to jail. You guys are going to need to sit down and relax. 
What is that that you just crushed right there? I'm only gonna ask you this one time. So have a seat on the curb like I told you before, and I'm gonna test what that is. Okay. What is that that you just crushed on the ground? It was a Xanax. What else do you have on you? There's like three Xanax and they're my Who's mom are and my they? boyfriend. They're my okay. mom's boyfriend. Stand either. up. Where are they at? They're right here. Those are the only ones? They're in your shoe? Well, hold on, let me sit down and I'll get them. You better not destroy them. I'm not, I'm gonna show them to you. Okay. And you can even ask my mom. Her boyfriend okay. is prescribed Xanax. Okay? okay, why do you have them in your possession right now? Dropping Xanax, dropping meth. Real quick, how long have you been here? Uh, since I've seen them. The Who's the only person that have been sitting right in this area? Uh, this, I'll tell you like this. Okay. The girl was taking it out of her bra. Who, which one? The one in the pink. Because okay. me and my girl was talking over there. I've right. seen her reaching. Reaching? What'd she pull out? That bag that you had just found. I've also seen she was driving. It. It's a girl yeah, little, it's a in young white, in the pink? White pants. Yeah. yeah. She was, where's the girl in the white pants at? Okay. The mascara is all over the airbag. I, I know that you were driving. I don't have any makeup on. You got a little bit of mascara right, right here. It's not like that. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm not real good on. I'm not good on makeup, so. Okay. What did you pull out of your bra? I'm, I'm only gonna give you one try. Then you're gonna go to jail. Okay. I'm not gonna play these games with you. So what else did you pull out besides the Xanax out of your shoe? I only had Xanax in my shoe. What else did you pull out? I did not pull out anything. Okay, so this pipe and everything is not yours. So a witness what? is sitting over there that saw you pull something out of your bra that I have right here is nothing has nothing to do with it. No. Okay, you're under arrest for possession of controlled substance, okay? Is your mom using any of this? You need to let me know that because if they go down there and she's got narcotics in her system, they cannot properly treat her. Obviously, you guys are probably gonna take me to juvie, so. Yeah? Can I please just give my mom a kiss? Hold on one second. What stuff has your daughter been using today? Cause she's dumped some methamphetamine out on the ground and also a pipe. And there's also some Xanax that she has. So right now she's already under arrest for possession of controlled substance and also possession of uh, prescription drugs. I'm gonna kick her ass when I get out of here. And then there's also that, that little green baggie right there. What's the little green baggie? I don't know, it looks like it's got some crystal substance in it, and if I was a betting man, I'd probably say I'm it's methamphetamine. I'm gonna kick their asses when I get out of here. Yeah, well, did your, did your daughter use any type of narcotics? No, not you sure? She's the only thing I can do right now is... She's actually let, an angel. Well, you can deal with your daughter after she gets out of juvie, okay? Oh, I'm going to kick her Okay, that's that's your right. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, let me make sure the trap officer doesn't need it, need it for anything. Right now, uh, the other officer over there is going to go ahead and transport uh, our female down to Juvenile Hall, where she's going to get booked for uh, possession of controlled substance. Uh, and then she's also going to get booked for all her uh, traffic-related offenses. She uh, didn't have a valid, uh, didn't have a driver's license at all. Also, she uh, failed to yield at an intersection to oncoming traffic. So she's going to get an issue to citation for that also. All right, guys, how you doing? The op that we're doing today is a buy bust. You guys are all familiar with the buy bust. You guys have worked with us before. Um, I will be the undercover. I'll be on a bicycle. Charge will be a sale of whatever, OK? Marijuana, cocaine, heroin, X, whatever. For the most part, it's going to either be a felony possession or a sale charge, OK? These are felonies, all right? I got to go do my thing and uh, see you guys in a little bit. I alter my appearance quite often. The dirt that I'm fixing to put on me makes it look like I have um, been working all day um, in a labor-type job. I'm ready to roll. Everyone else is in position. Let's go see if we can't get some bad guys off the street. All right, there's the UC. He's going to try this gas station right down the street on Edison here. And he's going to try and do a dope deal from a couple of guys hanging out in front. Gary. Yeah. What's up, man? It's Brett, dude. The undercover was uh, riding past the gas station. Saw a guy he knows. He's putting up an order right now to order uh, probably some crack. And we'll see if the guy will go and get it. How much you want? I got, I got 40. Okay, 40. All right. 
Yeah. We'll go together, take it down. Yeah? I'm on, man. All right, on. place the order. Uh, you ordered a ton of, like, 40 ounces worth of crack cocaine. All right, we're going to follow the UC with the target to another house to get the dope. There they go. He's going to ride up to BC Alley to try and get the crack. Give me the money, man. You bring it back, man. Yeah, I ain't running off with it. There's half. Come back with two, and I'll give you the rest. You guys going around back towards the alley. We're going to wait for him to come back out and uh, complete the deal. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Thanks, good. All right. We're going to pull left, guys. I'm going to try and put him right out on the uh, passenger side. Right there. All right. Go. Let's go. Get on the ground. What? What I did? Get on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. What I did? What I do? Doing the rest. Put your hands behind your back. What? Out there selling dope. What's that doing dope? Yeah, you was. That's what we saw you doing. Who's the guy on the bike? I ain't sold no dope. What's your name? Let me get her it. One, two, three. I ain't sell no Ready? dope. Are you under arrest to sell cocaine? What's that no dope? So if we stop him, we ain't gonna find any dope on him? I don't know. I doubt it. He wanted all the money up front. I uh, wasn't willing to do that. I uh, explained to him I'd been ripped before, so I gave him half. Uh -huh. I told him to return with the two rocks. Okay. Good job. One down, a few more to go. Yep. Sounds good. Let's go find somebody else, take him off. Yeah, he should be coming up to Meadow right now. Uh, Where exactly is he, Rob? He's got a black male, no shirt, with blue jeans, short times, when I check him, white shoes. All right, I got an eyeball. 40. Too hard, man. I'm not, man. What's up? What's that? That's for my dialysis, bro. Don't pull on it. Dialysis? Yeah, man. I got shot, man, two years ago. He's made contact with two guys. They're checking him for a wire. Um, we're making sure that he doesn't get robbed. We want to stay real close. Just put it on the ground. All right. Let's on ground, dude, before I drop you. Just drop it on the ground. Hey. Up. I just want to get high. Go ahead. I just want to get high. Right. Thanks, bro. All right, it's a go, right, Rob? Yeah, you're all set. You can take them. They're both by the stairwell. Go, let's go. What about shirt shorts? All right, just relax, just relax. Just relax, put your hand behind your back. All right, just sit, relax. What are you doing out here? I was standing outside, sir. And you're doing what? Just chilling. Stand Ready? Up, One, two, three. <clears throat> Anything in those? How much money you got? That's about like 70 bucks, bro. Right now, you're under arrest for sale of cocaine. I feel you on that, but I'm saying. No, I'm glad you're filming. I'm saying, damn, dude. I'm saying, though, dog. Mickey, sit down. you know relax. me. Gonzalez, you know me. Sit down. So who's the dude on the bike? I don't know the dude on the bike. He came up here, sir, as if dope, dude. I don't know. I didn't got. I didn't give him. If you want to dispute it? Take it up with the judge. All right. Bro, Zach. Man, call him, mama, man. He grabbed the cigarette pack, and when the cigarette pack came out, uh, so did the wire. And mm -hmm. so we tugged on the wire and asked, you know, obviously, expletive, expletive, what was that? I said, and he tugged on it, and I said, uh, hey, man, be careful. That's my dialysis. I got kidney problems. Uh -huh. And he was like, oh, I, and he actually apologized for okay. pulling on it. So an apologetic drug dealer. Good. Worked out well. Ready to get person. another? Let's go. What's your name? Brett. Brett? Yes, ma'am. Leonard. Nice Leonard? Name. Just like Skinner. Leonard Skinner. Yep. Yeah. That's a southern band for you. Trying to score some dope. I got it coming now. Awesome. He's uh, talking with a white female. She said she's waiting on dope to be delivered to her here. And the UC is going to just try and play off that and get $40 worth of crack. How much do you want? 40 40 I got 40 There's half. You come back with two rocks. She'll make her transaction, and then uh, she'll come back and make the delivery to our guy. And we'll see if we can't take both of them off. She's getting a truck now. She's putting something in her left front pocket, and she's walking back towards the UC now. The truck is pulling off. Rick, you want to follow that truck, please? Yeah, it's in the Yeah, 10-4. It's getting ready to turn on to Cleveland now, and she's walking back up to the UC right now, making contact. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get in. Now, the small tubes, like, you only need a little tiny hit. You're a good girl, man. Golly. All right, done. Looks like a good done deal. UC is away from the white female. She's still sitting in the bushes. Go ahead. Right there, right there in the corner. Got something in a hand, in a right hand, right hand, right hand. Keep that right hand. Oh, yeah. Got it. Drop Two it. pieces. Give me some cuffs. I got them both. All right, come on out here.
You've been arrested for this in the past? Never. Never? How long have you been smoking? Just like a month. I've just been depressed. And... Where'd you get the dope from? Um, somebody was just walking by. Somebody was just walking by gave you? How much they give you? Um, like three pieces. No. Open your mouth. See it. She's not talking right. Spit it out. Spit it on the ground. Is that what it was in when you got it? Yeah. That's pretty nasty. Okay, you got a little more than two pieces. Have a seat. You good with her? Okay. So we got her. We got the guy who supplied her with it. And then the other two, we got uh, the other guy who supplied her. And then the other guy you got off of uh, BC's Alley. Good job on your part. Good undercover. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Tomorrow morning, back up again. Go at it again. 6 a.m. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Things good. Phoenix 25, 14, 10, transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send it code 3.